You'd better keep it, Gimli. Come on now, back to the hall. I now know where we are. And one of us... Watch that, watch that. They're coming. We cannot get out. Trap, slam the doors and quench No, them. no, 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 we must not get shut in. Keep the east door ajar. Wait, Boromir, don't close the door yet. Who comes hither to disturb the rest of Balin, Lord of Moria? Take that! <laughs> there are orcs, many of them. Some large, even with their sons. Two. A great cave troll, I think, or more than one. Close the door, Boromir. All right, all right, I'll, I'll wet it with broken sword blades. <laughs> Let's go before the troll arrives. Now, run for it. I'll hold the door. You must go down the stairs. We cannot leave you to hold that door alone. Do as I say. Swords are no more use here. Go. Don't stand there. I've met my match and have nearly been destroyed. Where are you, Gimli? Come, come ahead with me. Keep close behind all of you. All right, all right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 This is the second hall of Old Moria, and the gates are near, near, over there. See it across the bridge, over the chasm on the other side, up the stair, through the first hall, and out. Come on. It's no time to lose. Now, now for the last race. If the sun is shining outside, we may still escape. Quick, down and across. Look ahead, look ahead, though the fire has cut them off. The bridge ahead across the chasm is dangerous and narrow. Gimli, lead the way. Pippin and Merry next. Straight on, straight on. Then up the stair, beyond the door, and out. They're shooting arrows now. Oh, oh. One just bounced off me. Look! Oh, 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 what an evil fortune. And I'm already weary. Boromir, Boromir, your horn! The ranks of the orcs had opened and they crowded away as if they themselves were afraid. Something was coming up behind them. What it was could not be seen. It was like a great shadow in the middle of which was a dark form of man's shape, maybe yet greater, and a power and terror seemed to be in it and to go before it. It came to the edge of the fire. Then, with a rush, it leaped across the fissure. The flames roared up to greet it. Its streaming mane kindled and blazed behind it. In its right hand was a blade like a stabbing tongue of fire. In its left, it held a whip of many thongs. Over the bridge! Fly! This is a foe beyond any of you! I must hold the narrow way! Fly! Aragorn and Boromir did not heed the command, but still held their ground side by side behind Gandalf at the far end of the bridge. The others halted just within the doorway at the hall's end and turned, unable to leave their leader to face the enemy alone. The Balrog reached the bridge. Gandalf stood in the middle of the span, leaning on the staff in his left hand, but in his other hand, glamdring, his sword gleamed cold and white. His enemy halted again, facing him, and the shadow about it reached out like two vast wings. It raised the whip, and the thongs whined and cracked. Fire came from its nostrils. You cannot pass! I am a servant of the secret fire, wielder of the flame of Aenor. You cannot pass. The dark fire will not avail you, flame of Udun. Go back to the shadow. You cannot 
pass. The fire in the Balrog seemed to die, but the darkness grew. It stepped forward slowly onto the bridge, and suddenly it drew itself up to a great height, and its wings were spread from wall to wall. But still Gandalf could be seen, glimmering in the gloom. He seemed small and altogether alone, gray and bent like a wizened tree before the onset of a storm. From out of the shadow a red sword leaped, flaming, Glamdring glittered white in answer. The Balrog fell back, its sword flying up in molten fragments. The wizard swayed on the bridge, stepped back a pace, and then again stood still. You cannot pass! With a bound, the Balrog leaped full upon the bridge. He cannot stand alone. Elendil, I am with you, Gandalf. So is Boromir. So is Boromir Gondor! Gondor! At that moment, Gandalf lifted his staff and smote the bridge before him. The staff broke asunder and fell from his hand. A blinding sheet of white flame sprang up. The bridge cracked. Right at the Balrog's feet it broke, and the stone upon which it stood crashed into the gulf while the rest remained poised, quivering, like a ton of rock thrust out into emptiness. Even as the Balrog fell forward and its shadow plunged down and vanished, it swung its whip and the thongs curled about the wizard's knees. Gandalf! fell and grasped vainly at the stone. It's dragging him after it, into the chasm. Fly, you fools! Gandalf! No! No! Oh, no! No! Gandalf's gone! I will lead you now. We must obey his last command. Follow me! Faster! Forward! Faster! Forward! They looked back. Dark yawned the archway of the gates under the mountain shadow. A thin black smoke trailed out. Nothing else was to be seen. The dale all around was empty. Grief at last wholly overcame them and they wept long. Some standing and silent some cast upon the ground as the drum beats faded. 